Craig here and in this video I'm going to show you one method that you can use to take an image that has text on it and convert it into a text document. Now the reason I'm going to show you this is because today I was building a website for a local restaurant and they have a menu but it's just an image someone was pretty much photocopied the physical menu and then put it on the website. So I didn't want to spend an hour typing out the menu so I'm going to show you the method that I used to pull the text from the image. Now I use Google Drive all the time and if you don't use it, it's definitely something you should look into. Now to follow along, you will need a Google Drive account. So first of all, we're gonna go and find a, a menu. So let's just go dinner menu. And the, the more clearer the text is on an image, then the better it will convert. It doesn't always work, but let's just go with this one right here. Italian specialties and we're going to go and click and view the original image So this is actually an image. It's a, a GIF image and we can zoom in a little more So there's no way for me to highlight and copy the text Now if this image was a small image you can zoom in with your browser and that you do that by doing holding the control key and pressing the plus sign and it will zoom in more so we're going to leave it like that. And what I have to do is I need to take like a screenshot of the text I want to convert. Now, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to select this certain area here and do one side at a time. Because when it tries to convert or pull the text from the image, it will try and match everything to one line. And it's a little bit confusing. Uh, Windows Vista, Windows 7, etc. comes with a sniping tool which is this thing here, and that's generally what I will use. If you don't have that, there's a free program called Dropler. Uh, I'll put a link in the video description, and you can also use that to kind of crop uh, certain areas of the screen. Okay, so I'm gonna take a quick snapshot here, and let's just take this for example, and we're gonna save this, and we'll just call it testimage.jpg. So what I'm going to do now is jump over to my Google Drive account and I'm inside a test folder that I've created for this video purpose and I need to go and locate the image I've just created. And it's down here, it's called test image. I'm going to drag it over and it's going to upload. Now before it uploads it gives you these options. Now by default all these three boxes are checked unless you've unchecked them before. And basically, we want to, you know, convert text from a PDF and an image file to a Google document or to Google Documents. So we're going to hit Start Upload. And it's just going to do its stuff here. What this has done, it's turned the image into a document. So I'm going to click on it once and it's going to load up the document. And here we are. Now at the top, it's going to give us the image with the screen capture there. And then as we scroll down, it's going to give us all of the text from the image. Now, this isn't always perfect. You'll have to kind of play around with it if you're going to try this. So we have Italian specialties served with salad and spaghetti. Italian specialties served with salad and spaghetti. Now this works with all kinds of different fonts and you can even do it with a handwritten note. Now obviously the more clearer the image is with the text on it, then the better conversion it's going to be. So the one thing to keep in mind is if you have like a two tables here, take a screenshot of one side and do one side at a time. Otherwise it's going to merge lines together. And the other way to do it with Dropler, uh, let me just right click here and we are going to grab a screenshot and we'll just take this pasta thing here and then the way Dropler works it puts your image online so I'm going to paste in the URL and here we have the image so what I'm going to do is right click and save image as and we'll just save it it's going to download to my computer so I'm going to jump back over to my Google Drive and drag this over here and we'll click Start Upload and it's been converted. Uh, 
anyway that's uh, just something I wanted to share with you uh, if you have any questions or comments post them below don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos have a great day